welcome to Dubrovnik. So we are here in Dubrovnik to celebrate my turning 30, which I will be doing on the Wednesday that we are here. Um, we are actually here for a week, um, but we're going to spend four days in Dubrovnik and then we're actually going to pick up a car and we're going to drive across to Montenegro to spend a further three days uh, before flying back. Uh, but we are staying very, very central. We're staying within the old town walls itself. We're a few minutes walk away from the main street uh, and we're also a few minutes walk away from Circe's steps uh, where she did her shame walk. The hotel is a, is a more non-traditional one. It's um, just rooms um, within a very small building. It's a beautiful room. It's uh, two stories with a bedroom on the bottom and we've got a dressing room with the bathroom on the top. As we then move through the week, um, it, obviously Dubrovnik is home of Game of Thrones. So that's going to be a pretty strong theme of the trip. We are going to be doing a Game of Thrones walking tour to find out all of those uh, and I'll make sure I capture everything of that. And then finally, as well as food and I'm sure some drink, there is also Lockram Island, which is just off the coast. Um, that'll be also one of the days that we go. Now, when we were researching Dubrovnik, there are a few areas that you can stay. Um, the most popular area is within the old town itself. It's a little bit more traditional. There aren't sort of the large hotels. They are very small boutique hotels um, or rooms for rent through Airbnb. If the hotel is more your style, then there are some which are set outside. It would just be a case of getting the bus or public transport through, which is quite common with the Dubrovnik card, um, buses included, as well as museums and the wall. That is something that you can take advantage of. So come along with us whilst we explore Dubrovnik and let's see what there is in store. <laughs> After heading outside the city wall, we walk through West Harbour, also known to Game of Thrones fans as Blackwater Bay. You'll notice Fort of St Lawrence on the hill, which doubled as the Red Keep in the programme. Here we have a medieval remote and a medieval TV.
inside the Fort of St. Lawrence, Red Keep scenes such as Joffrey's name day, they were filmed here. So after spending the day exploring the old town and a little bit outside, we're now going to take the cable car right to the top of the mountain and there's a 360 restaurant called Panorama that we're going to have a late lunch and a late dinner at. Good morning. So today we are getting on the boat and actually heading to the island of Lochram. This is just off the bay of Dubrovnik and it's actually where a lot of the filming for Game of Thrones was. It's going to look very tropical and um, we've seen the photos and it looks beautiful, um, very plush, um, very nice. We're hoping to do a little bit of swimming whilst we're over there um, because the water is meant to be crystal clear. Um, but let's see what we can find out and here's some footage. <laughs> finishing up exploring the southern part of the island, we headed north to explore Fort Royal.
So now we're off to find a swimming spot to cool down. Say hi, Ethan. Hi, Ethan. Now for swim spot number two. During Game of Thrones, aerial shots of the city were taken and later enhanced with CGI to create what we now know as King's Landing. So um, today we are walking the wall, uh, it is a ticketed one, but you can actually walk the full perimeter of the old town. Um, it has a few ups and downs, but it has great views all around. interesting fact about the wall it's actually thicker on the land side than it is on the sea side and that was historically because land weapons were a lot more powerful than ones that could be equipped on ships so they've actually built the wall much thicker towards the land than it was on the sea James, what'd I make you do on your birthday? Pack up all my shit and leave. No, new country. <gasps> <gasps>